Hello everyone. Today I'd like to highlight a way to reduce costs and simplify certificate management in AWS. Sharing private certificate authorities, or CAs, using AWS Certificate Manager Private CA and AWS Resource Access Manager. Let's pretend we have already built a certificate authority hierarchy in ACM Private CA. How do users and applications access it to request certificates? For resources in the same AWS account, it is as simple as using the ACM Private CA API actions to request a certificate. But what about customers who have multiple accounts? While it is possible to have a full certificate hierarchy in each AWS account you own, this isn't always the best option for customers who want to reduce costs. Each CA created using ACM Private CA is priced at $400 a month. For customers who want to use three or more CAs in each account, with many different accounts, this may not be feasible. But there's good news. Customers can utilize AWS Resource Access Manager to share CAs across accounts. Using this mechanism, customers can host their CAs in a centralized AWS account and share those CAs with their other AWS accounts, either by explicitly selecting those accounts or by sharing with their AWS organization, if this is something that you have set up. This can greatly reduce costs, as customers are now only paying for one instance of each CA, even though all the other AWS accounts can use that CA to issue private certificates. If you have five accounts with three CAs each, this would normally cost around $6,000 a month. But by sharing those three CAs in a central account with the other four accounts, you would only pay $1,200 a month. This cost saving is due to the fact that you're only paying for the primary CA that you own in the first account, and you do not pay for those CAs that are shared with the other accounts. However, there is a key limitation to keep in mind. I'll switch over to the AWS documentation to provide a visual. As we can see in the private CA documentation, AWS Resource Manager only supports a limited number of certificate templates when sharing a private CA. This will mean sharing CAs with RAM will not be applicable to every use case, but if it makes sense for your application, it is a fantastic way to reduce the cost of hosting CAs in multiple accounts. The four certificate templates supported for cross-account certificate issuance can be seen in the documentation here. Let's take a look at them now. We have end entity certificates, end entity certificates for client and server authentication, and then end entity certificates with a CSR pass-through. Okay, let's go back to the diagram. As we can see in this reference architecture, each account the private CA is shared with creates a private certificate in its own account, remains in full control of the certificate because the key lives in the certificate creation account and is fully protected there. The certificate creation account can associate the certificate to any resource in their account or export it for further use. The process is relatively simple. First, identify which private CAs you want to share and which accounts you want to share them with. Then create a resource share in RAM and then add your ACM private CA to the share. Lastly, you must share the resource with either a specific set of accounts or with your AWS organization. Let's take a brief look at how this works. Okay, now that we're in the AWS console, let's get started. First, we will navigate to the ACM private CA service. You can see that I've already pre-created two certificate authorities. In this scenario, we will share the subordinate CA or issuing CA with another account. Next, I'll select the Resource Access Manager service. Quick tip, you can actually go straight to the RAM console by selecting the CA you want to share and clicking Manage Resource Shares. I'll do that now. Note that if you're doing this in the AWS console, you will need IAM permissions to utilize RAM. Next. I'll click Create a Resource Share, and I'll add a name. I'll select the resource type Private CAs, and pick the appropriate CA from the list below. In this case, I'm picking the issuing CA. I'll click Next. On this page, we can select from multiple permission sets for the shared CA. You can see there are various options here. The main difference being the type of certificate templates that could be issued by the shared CA in the other account. For instance, this option is for client authentication templates. This one is for server authentication templates. This revoke permission set essentially just lets the other account retrieve information about the CA and use it to revoke certificates. For the purposes of this demo, we'll leave the default permissions in place. On this page, we can choose who we want to share the CA with. We can select our entire AWS organization if that is enabled, select specific organizational units within our organization, 
or we can share with a specific AWS account or IAM principal. You can also share with multiple AWS accounts or IAM principals. In this case, we'll leave allow sharing with anyone selected and I'll paste in the account number for the AWS account we'd like to share the CA with and then click add. We can see this principal has been added below and the type is an AWS account. The two options here on the top can sometimes confuse customers. So just to clarify, use the option on the right, allow sharing only with your organization. If you use AWS organizations and want to share with your org, use the option on the left, allow sharing with anyone. If you want to specify an account or IAM principal that does not belong to your organization, or if you don't use AWS organizations does not make the share public to anyone, as you must still select specific principles to share the resource with, as I have just now. Now we'll click Next and review the request before creating it. I'll click Create Resource Share. OK, we've created the resource share and shared the CA with the other account. Now I'll switch to the other AWS account and accept the share invitation. OK, now that I've switched accounts, I will navigate back to the RAM console. We can see I have an invitation I need to accept. One important note is that RAM shares are regional resources, so you want to make sure you're using the same region where you originally shared the resource share in the other account. We can see I have a pending invitation. I can click on it to view the details and reject or accept the resource share. After I accept the invitation, that's it. I can now navigate back to the Certificate Management Console, take a look at the private CAs available to me, and I will see an active private CA I can now use to request certificates. A couple important things to remember about using RAM to share resources. You can only share resources your account owns, and you cannot share resources that have been shared with you. Additionally, by default, you're limited to 5,000 resource shares and 5,000 shared resources per region. This limit can be adjusted, however. Thanks for your time, and please make sure to consult the ACM Private CA documentation for more information on sharing CAs across AWS accounts.